All right, welcome Brooklyn Cougars. It's Mr. Gibbons today. We're going to talk about our outcomes for today's class. Today, by the end of the session, you will be participating in a get to know me. You get to learn a little bit more about myself. Um, you will get to review my MCPS classroom specifically. I have a specific classroom and you're going to see that and what that looks like. And before you leave for the week, you want to take this exit ticket where you write in one thing you learned about me or one thing you were surprised to learn about me. If you take a look at the right hand screen here, we have our Zoom etiquette. Uh, please keep in mind when you're in class, keep yourself muted until I tell you it's okay to talk. Um, don't use the chat unless we say it's okay. You get plenty of time to use the chat in class. Um, turn on your video if you're comfortable. Please share, I wanna see what you're doing. Um, come prepared, be respectful when you talk and write in the chat and um, definitely don't wanna be eating or drinking anything on the camera. We're in PE, right? So with that being said, today, you are going to try to guess some things about me. Where do you think I am from? Will be the first one. Is it Maryland, Australia, California, or Georgia? It's actually Maryland. I grew up in Frederick, Maryland. It's really close to uh, where we are in Silver Spring, about 40 minutes away. My favorite sport is soccer, track and field, baseball, or is it basketball? What do you think? If you guessed track and field, you are right. I used to, um, I did play sports in college and high school. I played football. I was a sprinter. I ran short sprints against other people. And I was a pole vaulter. And that's the picture on the far right there of a person taking a pole and you go flying in the air. Um, I did those things from high school to college. And uh, the picture in the middle is Michael Johnson. He was the world record holder, the fastest man in the world before this great guy called Hussein Bolt from Jamaica. You might've heard of him. Before teaching, what was my job? Was I a firefighter, an astronaut, a police officer, or was I a chef? If you said, chef, you're right. That's a picture of me and um, other employees I worked with. And those are pictures of real food that we used to make every day. So I was a chef and uh, I did that for about 14 years. And I've also been teaching for 10. I did them both together at the same time, some of the years too. Which one of the following do I do? Do you think I skydive, bungee jump, surf, or snowboard? If you said snowboarding, you're right. There's a picture there on the left. That's me and my friends. We went to Colorado. Uh, we're about 13,000 feet in the air. And if you take a look at below, that is a picture of my wife and I. And she's the one who taught me how to snowboard. Uh-oh, which one is my favorite food, uh, fast food place? Is it Taco Bell, McDonald's, Popeye's, or chick what do you think? If you guessed Popeye's, that chicken sandwich is the best thing on earth and you best believe I enjoy it. Which one of these four are, wh who is my favorite artist of the four? Is it Meg the Stallion, Beyonce, Cardi B, or Drake? If you guessed Drake, you are correct. True or false, I've met Beyonce. The answer is, you'd be surprised, false. That's fake news, I never met her, but I did meet her sister Solange in a concert once. She's a singer too, that's her Solange there in the pink. True or false, I've played football on the Baltimore Ravens NFL football field. I don't know. If you guessed, True. You're right. I did. In 2003, it was my uh, junior year in high school. We went to the state champion and uh, or, I'm sorry, the state championship. And we actually played on their football field. Um, we didn't win. Didn't win that. But uh, I did get to step on the Ravens stadium and play in it. And just a little fun fact. This is my high school football team that year. So in this picture, I'm 16 years old. But the question is, what number am I? Huh. There's a lot of different numbers there. Maybe 11, maybe 57, maybe 72. I don't know. What number do you think I am? If you guessed number 20, you're right. Number 20. I'm in the first, in the front row there. I'm the first person on the left. That is me at the age of 16. Now, the rest of the class, we're going to kind of take you through um, how to use my MCPS classroom 
specifically for me. So if you take a look at the top left there, when you're in my classroom, you'll see a home page tab. And when you click on that, look where my mouse is, you will see my classroom. And my classroom has these four things. Meet the teacher, grading policy, class information, and schedule. Meet the teacher is a video that is of myself welcoming you to my class. Check it out. It's not a very long video. It's about 10 seconds. Grading policy is where we have our class syllabus. How do I earn a grade in your class, Mr. Gibbons? Um, that explains it there. And we're going to go over it in class two many times the first few weeks. Class information. This has major themes that we learn in class. So you might see four or five bullet points talking about the big, big things that we're going to learn in class. And the last one, schedule. It talks about um, the class time that you have for me. Okay, so it'll tell you what day of the week and what time you should be on Zoom. Continuing, if you go from home page and go scroll down a little bit, you're going to see the picture that you see right here where it says online learning. And you see that we have 10 different tabs and these are the different weeks that we are learning. So the first week would be August 31st uh, through September 6th. If you click on those links, that is where I keep all the work that you need for that week. So for example, you couldn't log into uh, my classroom this week because your family was on vacation and you weren't home. Well, when you get back from vacation, you can click on that link and see the different lists of what was due and what to turn in. So all these links keep all of our work for the week. However, you might see screens like this, the first one, access denied. Some of those links you can't get into because we're not there yet. So if it's not the first week of school, because that's where we are right now, weeks two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, you can't get into. So you're going to see this access denied. I don't want to overwhelm you. So if you can't get into something, it's you didn't do anything wrong. It's just we're not there yet. If you take a look where um, it says weekly video instructions, this is where I actually upload the video, the one you're looking at right now here. It tells you what to do for your assignment for the week. It's a great way if it's really hard for you to follow directions and you need visuals to click on the video and mm, I wonder what Mr. Gibbons has me, for me this week. And then if you take a look at the to-do assignment this week, you have to review the Google, the Google slides, which is this presentation right now about Mr. Gibbons. And then you also have to turn in the exit ticket, which is a um, Google form about a question about me. So what is one thing you learned or one thing that surprised you about me from this presentation? So those would be your two things to do this week. Review the slides and then turn in that uh, Google slide, or I'm sorry, uh, Google form answer so you can uh, tell me what you learned about me, okay? Other things you're gonna see in there is the Zoom link. That is at the top left. You will always go there, and excuse me for jumping ahead, you're always gonna go there and click on this join button. So when your class is happening, you click on that join button, you get in my waiting room, and then I let you in the class. That's where you will find your uh, link for my class all the time, and that Zoom tab at the top left under the home. So this would be a time to actually go into my Google, um, my MCP, I'm sorry, not Google, my MCPS classroom and explore it. I want you to go back and try all those different tabs. Go ahead and take that time now. If you wanna come back to this video after you're done, no problem. But we're gonna continue to move along just for the video purpose, okay? But I would definitely go back and explore my MCPS classroom. Now that you're back, we want you to take the time to click on exit ticket. Exit ticket is going to be a Google form. And we're going to ask you one thing in a complete sentence. Tell me one thing you learned about Mr. Gibbons or were surprised to learn about. Him. So if I'm going to fill this out, I want to do this in a complete sentence. So we put a sentence starter there for you. I was surprised to learn Mr. Gibbons or to learn that Mr. Gibbons. And then you need to fill that sentence in to show you what the Google form looks like. It's gonna like, look like this. You need to put your first name and your last name in there. So my first name is Mr. My last name is Gibbons. Isn't that crazy? What period do you have me? Is it second, third, fourth? I'm sorry, second, third, fifth, and sixth? Click on whatever period it is that you're in my class. If you don't know, ask me, I will help you. And one thing that you were surprised to learn about, I was surprised 
to learn that Mr. Gibbons learned to snowboard. Even if you want to tell me why you were surprised, that's fine. I never knew he played sports outside of football and track. And then you click that button, submit right there, and voila, it is submitted. You don't need to send another response. If you think you do, you may do another one, but I don't want to see more than one response. Um, I do have 120 students, so I don't need to get 240 because every student sends two. But with that being said, once you complete those things, you are caught up for the week. So your job is to review these slides that you see here, learn something about me, explore my MCPS classroom, and then turn in your um, Google form response about me. What'd you learn? I hope you learned something cool. I hope you had a great week. And if you missed my first class, it's okay. This first week is a little stressful. We're going to get you in class. Have a great day.